Hello, so this is my kombucha. I have made it from scratch. Both the kombucha along with the fruit behind it are fermented. And I have, let's see if I could make room here. Don't want to mess anything up. Now this bottle is, is it's just a re recycled bottle. It's not the original. I don't have my original bottle because this is homemade. So as you can see, this big old bottle, okay, the, so, so this big old bottle here, so I to get all this, this big bottle, I put the towel as cotton, I let it breathe as I make my kombucha. As you can see, the scoby is really big, is wide enough to cover. Uh, this glass uh, is really a vase, but I decided to put it to use for kombucha back in like 2000, uh, <clears throat> Well, a while ago, a while ago, okay. So now I have my kombucha is ready. I've already uh, fermented some of it into strawberries. Now I'm going to add another batch. And my problem is that I could never find an extra lid. Okay, so I have found an extra lid for my new kombucha bottle. Uh, this is really a recycled bottle. Again, it does not represent this company. But uh, at least we could say it's 48 full ounces filled to capacity with strawberry. Oh, trying out loud. With strawberry flavor. It's not just regular kombucha anymore because of all of the strawberries that I have in this pail. I am about now to pour the some of this. It'll probably go halfway of this kombucha. It's got the scoby in it. I may have to put the scoby on the side while I pour it in. And I'll be briefing you. In a moment, as you can see, I have a towel here. It's got to, it's got to breathe. The kombucha has to breathe. It has to be put in a warm, dark place. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to remove the SCOBY temporarily. Uh, as you can see, I have like a rubber band there to keep it round. You see the SCOBY right there? I have to remove it so I could dump some of the kombucha in. Or I could just filter the SCOBY, uh, the kombucha through the SCOBY. Uh, whichever way works for me okay you could do either one one or the other because um uh, i'm not going to dump all of this in there uh it's not all going to go through okay so let me uh let me see if i could just take the scoby out never use metal to remove to touch the scoby or the kombucha okay always remember that and up oh, here i go i mean this scoby is alive you know Oh boy, so let's see if I could do it, if I could do it, if I could do it. It's slipping, it's slipping away continuously on purpose. I don't want to leave his house, huh? Okay, so you see this? Look at this. Can you get a look at this? Oh boy, I gotta, I gotta be able to show this. Look at the SCOBY coming out. Look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. That SCOBY. It's not as big as the one I had in Florida. And here it goes. Okay. So there's still some scoby in there. Do not be fooled. Don't think that I grabbed all of it. There are baby scobies in there. Still growing. And uh, just doing this so you can see. I have another scoby. Tiny little one. Very thin over here. Come on, Felice. You could do better than this. Never put metal in there. Never use regular, uh, regular water to make a uh, kombucha. Never ever, because it can't have metal in it. It's a conflict of interest. See the scoby? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this scoby. Look how transparent this is. This is a new scoby. You see this? And here we go. I just want you to get a real good look at it. Isn't that beautiful? And here it goes. And I'm dropping it in here. So you got a few scobies in here, right? It grows in layers. And it would be much bigger, except it, it's been uh, pretty winter. It's winter weather here. And I put it in a closet that's not exactly that warm, so it takes even longer than it, t it would take normally. All right, so... Um, so now I'm going to pour some of my kombucha in here well you see this uh i'm going to ferment some more of this fruit 
and wish me luck because I'm here on camera and I'm hoping I could do it easily. Here we go. One, two, three. It's like two gallons in here. There's a little scoby in there. That means it's going to continue to ferment and that's fine with me. And it seems like uh, this bucket is a three gallon bucket so it could take the whole thing. There are a couple of scobies in there. I just saw a couple of them go in there. Well, three of them. Three little ones. So I'm going to let it finish uh, fermenting. Uh, because it's good that it continues to ferment. So now I have kombucha that's going to continue to ferment with this fruit. I would have preferred it on glass. Uh, had I known, I, I would have just poured the strawberries in that big glass instead of putting it here. But this is food grade and it'll be just fine. I'm just going to put a lid on it. And we're going to start making a new kombucha because it takes weeks. So I'm just going to put the lid on this. And I have my kombucha here that continues to ferment. Uh, but I'm going to put the towel instead of the lid. Or I could do it like this with the towel over it. <clears throat> just like that. I'll let it breathe a little bit. And I'll take it to the room, which is kind of cold. I'll probably take it in the, to the warmer room, which is where I sleep. And put it in the closet and let it continue to ferment. I would have preferred, again, to have kept it in the bottle, in the vase where I had it. But it's too late and I don't feel like pouring it back in there. But thank you for watching. It has been a great one. Bye now.